The Pathways to Knowledge model of information processing identifies six stages that students go through when learning to process information. They are appreciation, pre-search, search, interpretation, communication, and evaluation. More information on this can be found in the Technology as Facilitator of Quality Education model. A middle school science class is learning about the physics of flight. In this lesson, the students identify and discuss the parts of an airplane. Students view a diagram of an airplane using the Cleared for Takeoff multimedia training system. This activity enables students to build background information and identify key words that are important for the rest of the flight project. This demonstrates the pre-search stage of information processing. How many flaps are there up there? Brooke? Two. Two. Where are they located? On the inside of the, On the, inside of the plane. Uh, Sarah, tell it, read us what it says here. Flaps are control surfaces that can be moved up and down to increase lift and drag. They are used especially during takeoff and landing. Okay. Now, so what is this going to do for our airplane? The students enter the interpretation stage of information processing as they view different airplanes. They compare and contrast different fuselage sizes and analyze various airplane designs. Through this activity, the students infer the function of different fuselage shapes. Okay. Notice, why do you think this shape is a little bit different, Brooke? Because um, it's probably used for landing in the water. Right. It's different shape because you got to land in the water with this thing. Uh, some of the places uh, that you would probably find these kind of airplanes might be where? Alaska. You can. Some of the boats in Alaska, uh, they either have skis or pontoons on them to land in the water. Why would that be? Matt? So they could get in and out easier. Okay. Do you think Alaska has a lot of airports? No. So they probably are coming in and out on water because that's one thing they have a lot of there is water. The students demonstrate the search stage of information processing as they examine a poster of an airplane's instrument panel. They are developing a search strategy to gather information that they will use in a flight simulator. This one. Anyone remember what that instrument does? Let's see. Dustin? Um, it tells you how far in the air or how close you're getting to the ground. Okay, what does the blue represent then, Dustin? The sky. The sky. And what's that dark area? The ground. The ground. And, the, and these reddish things. The too. horizon. That's a horizon. And what do those orange things represent? Wings. The wings of the airplane. So what do we want to keep those wings? Jake? Level. Level and where? In the sky. In the sky, yes. We don't want it down here in the brown. Otherwise, we're heading down to the ground. During a field trip to the airport, the students have a hands-on learning experience. They integrate concepts that they have learned in the classroom as they view an actual airplane. This demonstrates the interpretation stage of information processing. AJ, do you see those instruments? Please, like that up in the blue. Are they like ours? Okay. Students have the opportunity to interact with an expert during their field trip. An experienced pilot explains many of the concepts the students learned in class and answers their questions about flying. This interaction gives students the chance to clarify meaning and gather information from a human resource. This demonstrates the search stage of information processing. So then the air will continue to go over the top of the wing, which helps do, do what for the plane? Faster. It helps keep it up in the air, right? What happens when the air quits going over the top of the wing? It, it can stall and it will fall. 